Good morning and welcome back to another edition of Rise and Shine Yoga. It's been a few weeks, but we're glad to be back. I'm Paul, the owner of the Oxford Yoga Studio in downtown Oxford. Um, welcome. For those of you that this is your first time watching the show, and for those of you that are regular weekly viewers, welcome. Uh, I'd like you to start in a seated position at the front of your mat, as we always do. Your feet or your legs can be crossed, or they can be in lotus, or you can have them straight in front of you. I want you to bow your head, close your eyes. And as we always do before we start any yoga practice, it's a good idea to set an intention for our practice. And I kind of look at the intention as a dedication, kind of giving goodwill to start our practice. And this intention can be for a friend, for a family member, for someone at work, for someone who's struggling with a particular issue or a family. Um, and it can also be for yourself. And it can be for the world in general. So whatever it is, there's really no wrong intention. So make that intention now. And then seal in that intention. Just bow your head, your chin to chest. Sealing in that intention. And then come back up. And as you continue with our practice this morning, if you find yourself struggling in any of the poses or the breath is just not there this morning or your mind's kind of just going crazy on you, Come back to this intention, this reason, this good deed of why you're doing the practice. And with our intention made, we just want to deepen our breath into what's called yoga breath or ujjayi breath. It's really big inhale through the nose and an exhale through the nose, but we're going to constrict the back of the throat so we make kind of a ha sound, a fogging of the mirror sound. So a big inhale through the nose. So that breath should be strong, should be, uh, you should be able to hear it. And as we go through our poses, we want our breath to be very slow and controlled. So one breath, one movement. We don't want any huffing and puffing. We don't want any labored breath. We want it to be smooth and controlled. So with our ujjayi breath set, with our intention made, let us continue with our practice this morning. Let's roll forward into tabletop position at the front of our mat, or hands and knees. Our hands are directly neath, underneath our shoulder blades, our knees directly underneath our hips. Take a quick look back between your legs. Make sure that your feet are behind your knees. So if you see them, just have them come back behind your knees. And we're going to do a few what's called cat cows, starting with a flat back. So we're going to inhale and drop the belly, lift the head, and then exhale round the back like a scared cat. Inhale, drop the belly. Lift the head, and exhale, round the back, inhale, drop the belly, lift the head, exhale, round the back, inhale, drop the belly, lift the head, exhale, round the back, a few more times, inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, really round that back. One more time. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. And exhale, really round that back. Come back to a flat, neutral back. Bring the big toes of your feet together. Sit back on your heels into our first and fold forward into our first child's pose. That cat cow that we just did is a really good spinal opener, really opening up the back. And this down dog, in a similar way, helps with our lower back. You can have your hands straight in front of you, by your side, or you can even put the back of the hands down on the mat. Your knees can be wide, which tends to open up the hips, or your knees can be together, which if you have back issues would be a good idea. Now slowly come back up to tabletop, hands and knees. 
hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And I want you to move your knees back a couple inches, and I want you to lift your hips and uncurl your toes into our first down dog of the morning. And since this is probably your first, I know this is mine, you might want to bike pedal your feet very slowly. And down dog, our head it looks back, or is dangling, our gaze is back between our legs. Our hands are really firm into the mat, our arms are strong, legs are strong, core are strong. And we're breathing, warming up that body. Now stop pedaling, and we're going to do a what I call a great alignment cue. So we're going to inhale to the top of a push-up, and we're going to exhale back to down dog. And the key here is to keep your hands and your feet where they are. Don't move them. If you have to move them, that's okay. But ideally, you don't want to. Your alignment should be perfect. Your hands should be right where they are. Your feet should be where they are. You should be able to easily transition from plank. The down dog without moving your hands or your feet. Then of your next exhale, look between your hands, bend the knees, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, really reach and rise the arms up overhead. And then exhale, palms together, center of the heart. So we're just going to continue with our standing poses. We're going to inhale the arms up. And I want you to grab your right or your left wrist. And we're going to do a little side bend. So we're going to inhale, and exhale, lean over to the right, a little side bend. Opening up the left side body. Inhale, come back up. Now grab your right wrist. Lean over to the right, pushing your hips to the right, but you're leaning to the left. Nice right here in the oblique area. Inhale, come back up. Switch over to the right. Up to center. Exhale to the left. Come back up to center. Exhale your palms together at the center of the heart. So that was a little bit of a warm up. Take a sip of water, catch your breath, and we'll come back for our next segment. For a free pair of tickets to this year's 2014 Michigan Renaissance Festival, send a self-addressed and stamped envelope to Oxford Community Television at 1775 North LaPay Road, Oxford, Michigan, 48371, Unit C. Huzzah! Take off your hat, throw it in the corner. Take off your hat, throw it in the corner. Take off your hat, throw it in the corner. I don't see why you stay a little longer. I'm talking about boo zoo. Woo! Boo zoo, that's who. Okay.
I'm Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard and former Red Wing great Joey Koser reminding you to follow the rules regarding boater safety. Always operate at safe speeds, avoid alcohol, and wear a life jacket. Don't let a great day on the water be ruined by bad decisions. Welcome back for our next up for our next segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. Continuing with our standing poses, check your foundation, make sure your feet are hip distance apart, you're standing up tall, your shoulder blades are relaxed, and a quick way to check to make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Inhale up, back, down, and you can even open up your palms. It really helps to relax the shoulders. So we're going to do a few sun A's, which you should be familiar with by now. Start with our palms together at the center of the heart. We're going to inhale, really reach and rise the arms up, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, step back to the top of a push-up. Keeping the elbows in tight, lower all the way down to the bottom. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, down dog. We're going to stay here for five good, strong breaths. Then your next exhale, look between the hands, bend the knees, step both feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, really reach and rise the arms up. Exhale, palms together at the center of the heart, going right into the next one. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, step back to the top of a push-up, keeping the elbows in tight, lower all the way down. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Again, five strong breaths. Then of your next exhale, look between the hands, bend the knees, walk both feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, really reach and rise the arms up. Exhale, palms together, center of the heart. And let's just do one more for fun. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees. Lower all the way down to the bottom of the mat. Inhale, straighten the arms. Lift the chest, up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes. Lift the hips, down dog. Five good breaths. Don't worry if your heels don't touch the mat. Eventually they will. And of your next exhale, look between the hands, bend the knees, walk both feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, really reach and rise the arms up. And then exhale, palms together, center of the heart, Samas TT. So we're going to do a little bit of another Sane, but we're going to do a pose called Seal. So I'll introduce that to you. 
So again, we're standing. Our foundation is always the same in these standing poses for the most part. So we're going to inhale the arms up, little back bend, exhale, fold forward over straight legs. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back to the top of a push-up, lower all the way down to the bottom. So now I'm going to introduce to you a pose. It's a little bit of a back bend. It's called seal. So you're going to keep your hands, your palms pressed into the ground. You're going to straighten your arms. You're going to have your legs wide, and you're going to lift the chest. So it's a little bit of a back bend. Now, if this is really not being very comfortable, just bring your hands out far away from the mat, and that'll lessen the bend in the uh, lower back. We tend to sit so much that our lower back gets stiff. This is a great pose for really opening it up, getting that curve back in the lower spine. And breathe. In the beginning, I wasn't a big fan of back, back bends, but I've come to really, really appreciate them. About another 10 seconds. And lower all the way down. Catch your breath. We're going to do that one more time, opening up that lower back. So inhale. And again, your hands can be out, or right next to your shoulders, whatever is most comfortable. Inhale, lift the chest, straighten the arms. And of course, breathe. Come back to that intention. About another 10 seconds. And lower all the way down. Now, just inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Look between the hands, step the feet. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, really reach and rise. Exhale, palms together, center of the heart. Now I want you to come down into child's pose, kind of the counter pose to our seal that we did. So bring your big toes together. Come back into child's pose. You'll feel it here in the lower back, really helping the lower back. Now slowly come back up, hands and knees. Bring your right foot, left foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, reach and rise the arms up. Exhale, palms together, center of the heart. Take a quick break, get a drink of water, and we will see you in the final segment with our seated poses. Get that moment. That changed my life. At that moment, it hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. We're soldiers, always ready to protect our country. But we've also got communities. Family, friends, neighbors who count on us. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. Somebody from my hometown. See what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. You are watching the Michigan American Legion's Station of the Year for the fifth year in a row. Oxford Community Television.
Discover the wonderful surprises of local shopping. Watch Let's Take a Walk with Susan Bork or Andy Curtis. Weekdays at 10.30 and 6.30. Keeping it local. Welcome back. Before we get to our seated poses, we're just going to do one quick semi-standing, the Buddha squat. So bring your feet, either the width of your mat or maybe a little farther. Come down to what's called the Buddha squat. Bring your palms together at the center of the heart. Sit up tall. And if this is just way too comfortable, uncomfortable for you, just come to sit on your butt. If you want a little more, just press your elbows. Open up the inside of your legs. You have a straight line. It's a really good hip opener. And breathe. Smile. I'll take your right hand, bring it behind your right hip, left hand behind your left hip, slowly make your way to a seated position. So we're going to do a few seated poses. I'm going to intermix a few new ones that I don't think we've done before. But these first couple we have. So straighten your legs out in front of you, have your toes pulled back, have your hands planted right by your hips, sit up tall, gaze is level, you can have your eyes closed. And then dasana or staff pose. Just make sure you breathe. Open your eyes. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. This time, take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toe. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold forward into Paschimottasana or Western stretch. The key here is you want your back to be flat. You don't want it rounded. You want your head to go or your heart to go towards your feet, not your knees. And if you want a little bit more, you can just bring your elbows out to the side. That will bring you more into the pose. Release your bind, come back up to seated. And as I've mentioned before, in a lot of these seated poses, which are in Ashtanga, you have the optional vinyasa to do. So we're going to do a few of the optional ones. You can either sit where you are or do the uh, vinyasa with me. So we're going to come back, cross our ankles, extend our arms, exhale, roll forward, step back in the plank, exhale, roll all the way down, inhale, lift the chest, up dog, exhale, uncurl the toes, down dog and jump through or walk through to the front of your mat into a seated position. So we're going to do, continuing with our seated poses, I want your left leg extended straight in front of you. I want you to inhale your right knee up. Bring the sole of your right foot on the inside of your left foot, or left uh, leg. Your left toes are pointing to the sky. You may want to turn your torso toward the foot. So we're going to inhale the arms up and exhale full forward. Taking a bind either on our foot or our shin. Doesn't really matter. Just make sure your back's flat. We don't want a rounded back. We want it to be flat. Release your bind, come back up to seated. Inhale the right knee up, extend the right leg. Now we're going to do the other side. 
Inhale the left knee up. Take the sole of your left foot inside of your right thigh. Your right toes are pointed to the sky. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Again, taking a bind either on your foot or shin. Again, we don't want a rounded back. We want a flat back. Release your bind, come back up to seated. Inhale your left knee up. Extend your right leg in front of you. And we're going to skip the optional vinyasa. So for the next pose, I want you to inhale your right knee up. Extend your left leg. And we're going to do a little bit of a bind here, or a twist, but I'll give you an option if you're not comfortable doing the bind. So with the non-bind, take your right hand, bring it behind your right hip. Inhale your left arm up. Twist over to your right. Maybe you hook your elbow around your right knee, or maybe you hold your right knee, you're twisting over to the right, looking over your right shoulder. So that's option one with no bind. If you want to take a bind, you can take your left hand, bring it around your right hip, or left hip, inhale your right arm up, and extend it forward on the inside of your right leg, bring your right arm, bring it, wrap it around your right knee, take your left hand, wrap it around your back, and then grab your right hand into a really fancy bind. If you want a little more, you can fold forward, making sure the left foot is engaged and the toes are pointed to the sky. And if you took the bind or non-bind, just release it. Extend the right leg, and we'll do the other side. Inhale, left knee up. And again, you can twist without the bind to the left, or if you want to take the bind, bring your right hand behind your right hip. Inhale the left arm up on the inside. Wrap around your left knee. Take the right hand, wrap it around your back for another bind, another good twist. These twists get out the toxins. Whatever you took, release your bind, come back to center. Extend your left leg, and we'll just do a quick uh, version of bow pose. So inhale, sit on your tailbone, cross your ankles, and try to grab your big toe with your peace fingers. Sit up tall, try to balance. You may shake, you may not, but make sure you're smiling. And then if you want to really impress your friends at a party, staying where you are, take your peace fingers, wrap them around the big toe, and extend the legs. Looking to the sky. And then come back. Release. Come back to your seated position. Thank you again for joining me in another segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. And we will see you next week. Namaste.